Hi, I'm uh, Steen Pedersen, uh, BWF commentator and former Danish head coach. Uh, today we, we, we're going to take a look at um, the Japanese men's singles. The Japanese men's singles have done extremely well in the recent uh, European legs and uh, it's interesting to see uh, where they're at exactly at the moment. Uh, are they as good as uh, the result uh, indicates? Now going into this uh, European leg of tournaments, my uh, biggest expectations were uh, with uh, Kodai Naraoka because I felt he played uh, so well in Malaysia Open in uh, January where he reached the final. Unfortunately, he, um, he looked not at his best, uh, Kodai Naraoka, and um, I think that's one of the uh, things that the Japanese team will have to be careful about, that um, they don't outwork him and let him play too many tournaments. He's um, struggling with his legs. For me, Naroka's European trip here was a little bit um, disappointing and I think we have uh, much more uh, to expect from him and much more to come from him. So then we get to uh, Kenta Nishimoto and uh, Kanta Tsunayama. Now they started uh, out a little bit slow in Germany and all England and um, there was nothing much to report from there but then they, they made a smart move in my opinion. They sat out of the uh, Swiss Open and uh, came back and played Spain Masters so they had one week of, uh, of practice in between all England and uh, Spain Masters and why did that work out well for them as they played each other in the final. Uh, with uh, Nishimoto coming out on top as the winner. Prior to that, the big surprise to me in this European leg, Koki Watanabe, uh, who is actually not in the Japanese A team, he's uh, in the B team, didn't participate in German or All England, came in uh, and uh, went straight on to win Swiss Open. That was uh, perhaps one of the biggest surprises uh, in men's singles in that um, European leg. Now if we look at the playing style of uh, Naroka, uh, Tsunayama, Nishimoto and uh, Watanabe and try to uh, compare them to each other, in my opinion they're actually quite similar in, uh, in playing style or strategy. The thing is that they're, they're all four very very strong uh, retrievers, they're extremely quick on their feet. Uh, I think it's almost um, runs through the whole Japanese team that everybody is uh, super fast on their feet. That definitely goes for these four players. They're super fast um, around the court and uh, fantastic retrieval, fantastic defense gets so much back. Now, one of the things that I feel that these four players have developed throughout the last uh, six to nine months is a playing style that is uh, more versatile and uh, doesn't just rely on their retrieving skills, but they're also capable of um, of directing the rallies, of putting so much pressure, so much constant pressure on their opponents uh, that it uh, makes it extremely difficult uh, to play against them. They're super uh, good at maintaining the attack and uh, staying on top of the rallies, so to speak. So, so they're, they're playing uh, the playing style that you want to play if you play in drifty conditions and play with the drift where you want to keep everything downwards and everything to the uh, front court, or almost everything to the front court. They've been, they've become uh, really, really good at applying this uh, this playing style throughout uh, a full match. Now, if we compare these two playing styles, excellent retrieval skills and the initiative, the possibility of putting pressure on the opponents uh, over and over again, and compare that to the Momota of 2018 and 2019, the uh, big difference is that the shot quality of the 2019 Momota was extreme. That is perhaps the part where these four players are lacking a little bit. And I feel that Kodai Naroka, he's just 21 and I, I think that um, that's something that he has going for him, that, that he's still got time to learn. He's a relatively um, uh, new entry. So I think he has... Um, a much better chance of developing his uh, shot quality to uh, a level that's uh, close to uh, the one we saw Momota have in, in 2019. Uh, super defense and a fantastic net game. So I really think that um, Kodai Naroka, he could uh, be the new um, top dog uh, in the uh, Japanese team. 
With Nishimoto, Sunyama, Watanabe and uh, Naroka's uh, improvement and um, they've definitely gotten a taste for, for wins so that also helps in, in terms of uh, motivation and perhaps Kento Momota uh, back to uh, something that looks like his uh, recent form then Japanese men's singles looks to be in uh, great shape and to emphasize that um, a youngster, Yudai Okimoto he won both the uh, Dutch Junior Tournament and the German Junior Tournament, which was played um, during these five World Tour Tournaments in Europe. So the future for uh, Japanese men's singles badminton definitely looks interesting.